Hey, good afternoon, Facebook friends. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, and thanks for uh, checking in with me this afternoon. Uh, today on the on the Christian church calendar, uh, a lesser known celebration today is uh, the day of St. Barnabas. Uh, do you remember Barnabas? He's a character in the book of Acts, one of the uh, early uh, first followers of Jesus and a, a companion of the Apostle Paul. Uh, the Bible tells us that Barnabas, uh, his, that his original name, his birth name was Joseph, but he was called Barnabas. That was kind of a nickname that he was given. And Barnabas means son of encouragement, son of encouragement. Uh, so I want to be inspired by Barnabas today and talk about encouragement. I, I think this everybody could use encouragement. There is uh, not a one of us listening, uh, and there's not a person around you in your circle of influence who could not use uh, a pat on the back, uh, a word of encouragement, a word of help. Uh, the Bible tells us that there's several ways that Barnabas uh, encouraged others and maybe earned that nickname, uh, son of encouragement. Uh, Barnabas's first appearance uh, is when uh, he uh, Barnabas owned a field and he sold the field and brought the money to the apostles to be used for uh, ministry and the, the support of that uh, fledgling Christian movement. Uh, so Barnabas was an encourager uh, because he provided uh, gifts, financial reality, support for uh, other Christians in need and for uh, those beginning uh, ministries. Uh, Barnabas was also known uh, as a son of encouragement because he developed others. He developed the gifts of others. Uh, Barnabas is the one that came, uh, uh, went looking for uh, Paul. Everybody knew that Paul had been infamous as an opponent of the Christian faith. Uh, and uh, after he came to know Jesus personally, he sort of went off into hiding and uh, trying to figure things out for himself and how he would uh, figure out how to live in uh, the new world with a new identity as a child of God. It was Barnabas that came alongside him uh, and uh, kind of helped to reintegrate him into the fellowship of the church and help folks who may have looked at him with some skeptical eyes uh, trust him and, and know how and then Barnabas and Paul, after a journey together, there was the young man, uh, John Mark. Uh, Paul said, no, he's, he's, uh, he's not fit for a second missionary journey with us. But it was Barnabas. It was Barnabas who saw giftings in John Mark and said, no, if we can't go with John Mark, then uh, I'm not going to go at all. He so believed in the potential of that uh, other young servant of God, John Mark. So Barnabas, in many ways, was uh, truly a son of encouragement. So I'll ask you today, knowing that everybody needs encouragement, uh, how are you offering encouragement to those around you? Maybe there are ways that you can support finance. Maybe, maybe like uh, Barnabas, you, you have a resource you can sell and give that money for the sake of others, and you'll be known then as a son or a daughter of encouragement. Uh, maybe you have uh, specific ways to encourage other people to develop their gifts and kind of rise up and be the person that God has, uh, uh, has equipped them and saved them and sanctified them, filled them with his spirit to be. Uh, maybe that is your gift gift of encouragement, maybe you simply need to reach out and say thank you. Thank you to someone else who has encouraged you and supported you in the development of your Christian life, your growth as a human. Uh, let's pause and pray together, thanking God for all those who encourage us. Uh, Father, uh, thank you for sending Barnabas and thank you for sending so many other sons and daughters of encouragement. Uh, Father, even when we uh, feel like we need encouragement, uh, give us uh, a boost in our own spirit internally to reach out uh, and encourage someone else uh, with a, a, a word of, of honesty, a word of instruction, a word of hope, or a word of peace. Father, we thank you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for checking in on uh, this Thursday afternoon.